when we talk of remedies mantra stotra and all these things are there other than this jab stones and other things are also there so which remedy is most appropriate what is the purpose of these different remedies one should know gemstones etc are to strengthen the planet regarding other remedies of flowing something throwing something etc the effect of the same is not known right but it works on the significations of planet right like if a planet according to the color etc is related to some something a food a grain a fruit the donation of the same you know flowing the same in water etc is also considered as remedy so you know gods are associated with or it is believed that some gods love a particular type of fruit love a particular type of food love a particular type of object and which is given in the fire in the vedic sacrifice to please the gods right so this comes from the concept of from here comes the concept of giving something to water flowing something in water giving something into fire and all these things comes from here now in this particular setup stotras and mantras are proven by classics of hinduism are given as remedies in vedas and puranas when arjun wants to get a particular weapon krishna tell him tells him to worship shiva with a particular stotra and all of this so the speciality with mantra and stotra is they take care of the sins done from previous life also they are like a magical formula which helps you in manifestation whereas other remedies may only help you in manifestation but may not take care of the past karmas of the previous life and the current life stotras and mantras do this very well in this particular scenario there are stotras and mantras related to major gods such as shiva vishnu devi and all of that then there are mantras and stotras related to other deities indra agni etc and finally there are mantras and stotra related to nine planets as well regarding the worship of nine planets my opinion is very simple in brit parashar hora shastra parashar himself have said that to give the result of the karma of people vishnu have taken incarnations in form of these nine planets all the beings come from these nine planets fulfill their duties and merge back to these nine planets only the indication of past present and future is also done by these nine planets so certainly if one worships vishnu but does not worship the incarnation for that age for example one may worship vishnu but one is not worshiping ram who is the in sati in the yuga of ram in the times of ram if one is worshiping vishnu but is not respectful towards ram how will be his worship of vishnu fruitful so for the current generation the incarnation of vishnu is the nine planets of course if you eat the mouth the body eats it right in the same manner worshiping the nine planets is worshiping narayan only for me doing the remedy of the nine planets is very essential because nine planets are the avatar are the incarnations for this kali yuga as per for every yuga it is right nine planets are the prime incarnation of vishnu which directly interacts with the world hence their worship is also very fruitful right their worship is also very fruitful in the same manner like vibhishan shows his devotion to hanuman and gets instant upliftment in fact even kumbhakarna is also a devotee but kumbhakarna fails to realize the incarnation for his time hence whatever good result etc he is having he is having in the other world only not in the current world this is entirely different to what have happened with vibhishan in this particular scenario in bhagavad gita krishna have also very clearly said that worshiping the nine planets etc will can be very fruitful for 
fulfillment of wishes and desires though they may not give salvation but for fulfillment of wishes and desires it is very useful now when you talk of kam priyog there are two types of worship one you do without any particular intention in mind that you just do for spirituality for your spiritual development that is nitya naimittik pujan then you do something with a specific purpose that is kamya priyog so in doing things for specific purpose the worship of planets etc are highly useful the worship of planets etc are highly beneficial you can find a particular planet which signifies a particular area of your life or is putting problem in a particular area of your life and you can do chants related to that particular planet and this will be very helpful in easily and quickly fulfilling your wishes and desires right so the incarnation of planets and the worship of the planets the prime purpose is to get as the result as soon as possible this is for kamya karma today in this particular video i am going to talk of navagraha stotram written by vedav vyas also known as krishna dwapayan vyas considered as child of parashar he have been the mind behind mahabharat mahabharat is supposed to be told by vyas written by ganesh right and vyas holds very high importance in complete hinduism right writing the puranas differentiation of the vedas and all of these things have been done by vyas vyas when it comes to hindu religious thought holds a prime importance and this stotra is ascribed to vyas itself who is very great because vyas is so great hence the stotra also gets supreme importance i will chant out the complete stotra to you in the end but before that there is a lot to understand in the stotra also there is lot to understand about planets through the stotra also this stotra basically talks about all the nine planets right and it is a salutation to all the nine planets so the most important benefit of this particular stotra is for those people who don't know which planet is actually causing us problem they can easily do this particular stotra and because it is connected to all the nine planets it will take care of everything even in those cases when one particular thing is obstructed by more than one planet doing multiple remedies may be difficult so in that particular scenario also this singular stotra is very powerful most importantly because this stotra is small right only 9 10 shlokas are there and because it is very easy to do it can be included in your daily prayer and after including it in daily prayer the planetary afflictions will not be there this is the most prime uses of this particular stotra not only this it is specifically told in the stotra that divava yadi varatro vighna santir bhavishyati if you are getting obstruction in fulfillment of any wishes and desires if things are getting obstructed things are not going through if they are not happening the way you want it to happen if you are not meeting with the resources you should do it this will be very helpful next it is told nar nari nirpanam cha bhavet dushyavana nasanam if you are fearing about the future if you have really had a bad dream if you have met with an bad omen and you are suspecting about the results of it if everything looks very much problematic in that particular scenario whatever bad result one is getting through a bad dream bad omen or anything will be pacified by doing this particular stotra then it is told aswarim atulam tesham aarogyam pushti vardhanam pushti vardhanam those suffering from disease specifically weakness not an ailment but a weakness those suffering from any type of weakness doing this stotra will be very beneficial for them tesham aarogyam for freedom of diseases also this stotra is very useful for them and aswarim atulam those who are wanting prosperity in life for them also this stotra is very useful so this is stotra you can do any time right you can also do it standing and if you are doing this stotra once every day then in near around one year all the bad results of see whatever is the result of the planet indicated in the birth horoscope of course that will come to pass but other than that the bad results that are there due to transit 
the bad results that are there due to yearly charts. These results are greatly pacified. In fact, even the result of Dasha and Tardasha and even the bad result of planets in the horoscope is also very easily pacified. Now, if you do this Stotra daily and you do it for more than one year straight, in that particular scenario, your horoscope falls in that particular category where an astrologer looks at your horoscope and they are judging that this planet should give this much bad result, but they are only giving you little bad result only. You are saved by the grace of God. You come into this category. Because such fallacy should not happen in your our horoscope analysis for this particular reason, I always recommend to do a Prashna chart that indicates Kriyaman Karma along with the horoscope that indicates Prarabdha Karma. Details about Prashna chart, complete A to Z about Prashna chart, I am also going to teach in my forthcoming course named Prashna Paddhati that is starting from, I think, next to next Friday. So those who are interested in learning astrology, specifically those who are interested in being able to answer each and every query, no matter whatever it is, should seriously consider joining the course. However, coming back to our particular topic, here Vedavyas talk about all the nine planets and he gives us some very, very major hints which needs to be understood. First, he talks about the king of the planet sun and he says, Japa kusum sangasam kaspeyam mahadutim tamo arim sar papa ganam Pranato asami divakara. The first line, Japa kusum sankasa means the one who looks like hibiscus flower, who looks like the flower of Japa kusum. So Japa, Japa kusum, kusum means flower, it is hibiscus flower. Sun who is red in color like hibiscus flower. How do you use this particular color? Color for all, all the planets are told in this particular stotra. So how do you use this color? If sun is in the ascendant, red is equal to white. Right. If sun is in the ascendant, it indicates person is having white complexion. Sun in the Navamsha ascendant, it indicates person is having white complexion. Sun is connected to the seventh house, wife is having white complexion. Sun is connected to fifth house, child is having white complexion. Sun is connected to third house. Uh, sibling is having white complexion. Son is connected to fourth house. Mother is having white complexion. Son is connected to ninth house. Father is having white complexion is how this should be used. The prime thing is prediction of the complexion of native and other people from the horoscope. That is first thing. Second point is where it is most prominently used, it is used in remedies. It is a very clear instruction that is given there that if sun is told of white plant, if sun is told of being red in color, <clears throat> that means if you want to donate something for sun, that should be red in color. So red clothes can be donated. Anything that is red, that can be donated. For this particular reason, sun is also connected to copper because copper is also reddish. Right, so donation of red things is for sun. Secondary is sometimes person may ask what is the lucky color for me. So if sun is the best planet, then red is the lucky color for you. You can paint your home red. You can have a red vehicle. You can wear red colors more prominently that you should do. Secondarily, the point is if you want to remedy sun, which deity you should worship? The deities of red color. So you can either worship Hanuman, which is generally seen in red color, or if you want to worship any other deity, you have to make sure that either the deity is made up of red sandalwood, etc. Because sun indicates red color, the donation of red sandalwood will also be a donation for sun. Or any god, if you are wish if you are worshipping and you wish to do a remedy for sun, you should give offer red flowers, you should offer red clothes to the deity. Of course, offering red flower to the deity will also be a remedy for sun and most importantly because it is only sun which is connected to flower. You will see in other shlokas. So giving flower, giving flower to gods, giving garland of flowers to God is a remedy for sun. Having fresh flowers in your home every day, decorating your main door with flowers or anything with flower will put the impact of sun there. Offering flower to religious personality, offering flowers to spiritual personalities, offering flowers garland to political personalities is also a remedy for sun. So this is clearly indicated. This is meaning of the word Japa Kusum Samkasam. Now the next is Kashipayam. Kashipayam means son of Kashyap, the Atmaj, the child of Kashyap. Kashyap is a sage. 
Now son is the child of Kashyap and son is the father of the complete world. So when you do worship or when you do anything, you have to talk about your Gotra. You have to say which Gotra, which lineage of sage you belongs to. You belong to. And anyone who does not know about their lineage or those who are not born in Hinduism, in fact, all the insects, all the animals and everyone is born of Kashyap only. So anyone who does not know their lineage or they do not belong to Hinduism, they should take their lineage as Kashyap lineage. And because Kashyap is the forefather of all of us, Kashyap is the grandfather of all of us, son, the child of Kashyap is father for all of us. For this particular reason only, Shan is taken as a significator for father as well. The next point is Mahajyotim. Mahajyotim means the most brightest one. So sun is the most brightest star in the sky that you already know about, but this also have a predictive implication. Whichever house the sun is there in, you do exemplary thing related to those houses. For example, if sun is there in sixth house, your life is an example of not doing bad with your enemies, despite the fact how much bad they have done with you. You should follow ethics and morals. You should follow such behavior in those houses that even if your behavior is known to all, no one hates you. This is what is meant by the brightest one. So if there is sun in the ninth house, your devotion to religion is so great that it is exemplary. Right. So whichever house sun is there in, because that house is very bright, you are very bright and brilliant in that house. People know you. People recognize you because of your work and your contributions in that particular area. It has these two implications. Right? Multiple other implications can also be found out, but for the time being, these two implications are enough. If you think there can be some other implication, comment it below. Tamo Arim Sarpapagraham Pranato Asmi Divakaram. Tamo Arim, the destroyer of darkness. Right, so sun destroys the darkness. That is a known fact. Astrologically, whichever house it is there in, in that house there is a lot of darkness is taken as evil. Darkness is taken as enemy. So in whichever house sun is there in, people disturb you. When you want to do something related to that house, there is a lot of disturbance. If sun is there in, 11th house, second house, there is a lot of disturbance in earning money. Maybe your family is against the way in which you want to earn money. There are many obstacles in procuring of money, procurement of money. And mm -hmm. like sun destroys the darkness, you also have to destroy all these enmities and all these obstructions to succeed in this particular area is what is told. Tamo Arim, for this particular, there is one more thing. Ari is also a name for the sixth house. And sixth house is the best position for sun. Right? So if you have sun in the sixth house, it is the best position of sun. And because of this best position, whichever house is ruled by sun, you will get good result of that particular house. Whenever the dashantar dasha of sun comes in, you will get good result in that dashantar dasha of sun. And secondarily, if there is if your sun is not in the sixth house, you should say which planet is in eighth from sun in your horoscope. So technically, sun is in sixth from that particular planet. And the signification of that planet will be greatly enhanced. The signification of that planet will be great, uh, you know, will be very beneficial. And the dasha antar dasha of sun will help you progress with respect to the areas which are signified by the signification of that planet from which sun is falling in the sixth house or in other words the planet which is in eighth from sun tamo arin then next it is sarpapagnam that means sun is the destroyer of all the sins so that indicates that if you have done any sin either knowingly or unknowingly mistake by mistake or anything as such you should worship sun that gives you freedom from that particular disease. So through Adit Hirdayam etc. and other stutras also sun can be worshipped. Or to worship sun you can just take this particular shloka and you can chant it 108 times. And that will also relieve you from any types of sins that you have done. What will happen because you have done the Prayaschit Karma. Whatever 
sin you may have committed, you will not get the bad result of that sin. And even if you get that, it will not be problematic for you. Right, Papagnam. Pranato Asmi Divakaram. We pay our salutations to Divakar. We pray our salutations to Diva, De, Kar, Doer. We play, we give our salutations to the one who does the day, who is the cause of the day. Hence, Divakaram word is used. It is told that sun is the cause of the day and night. And Divakar is also another name for sun. Right? Then next he comes to moon. Dadhi shank tusarabham chiro dharnav sambhavam namami shashinam somam sambho mukut bhushana. Dadhi shank tusarabham. One who is white in complexion like curd, conch and snow. Basically means moon is white in complexion. So basic things you, you, are, you have there that if you want to donate something for moon that, that have to be white in color. If moon is the best planet, you should wear white color. Moon will give you white complexion and all of these things are already known as I have explained in the sun's department. But now here the point is as I have told you in the sun's department. That Priyang, that the shloka, Japa Kusum Sankasam, is talking of flower, and here the Dishank Tusharabam is talking of curd, conch, and snow. So basically, snow you cannot offer to Diti, but offering curd to Diti, offering curd to any Diti can be done. Right? You can offer curd to any Diti, specifically offering curd to Shivaling. Having conch in your home, blowing conch, donating conch is a great remedy for moon that is also indicated along with indicating that white color is associated for moon associated with moon and whichever way you have used the sun in the same way you can use white color for moon also chiro dharnav sambhavam chiro dharnav sambhavam means once whose birth was possible from the white ocean white milky ocean chiro dharnav who is born of the white milky ocean it indicates that moon is greatly connected to oceans. Visiting any pilgrimage which is near an ocean, Dwarka Puri Rameshwaram is a great remedy for moon. Keeping the shores of the sea clean, cleaning the beach and doing religious austerities etc. on the sea. Doing Suri Arg while standing on a sea, chanting mantra while standing on a sea is very beneficial for moon and because it is beneficial for moon if you go to any sea stand there up to navel in the water and chant the mantras for moon that will be highly effective namami shashinam somam sambho mukut bhushinam namami shashinam somam we go to shashi we go to moon somam who is soma soma is a liquid that gods drink for power, strength, long life, longevity. And because moon indicates this particular drink or moon have a name which is synonymous to the drink of this name, it is indicated that it is moon which indicates health, vigor, vitality, etc. For this particular reason, in Vedic astrology, moon is taken for Balarisht and it is afflictions to moon which curtails the life of the native and it is the strength of the moon which gives you long life. When the moon is afflicted, then despite the fact that the person is having long life, his life will not, he will not be in a very fit and fine shape. When moon is weak and one is getting long life, which one may get through the strength of the ascendant, then in that particular scenario, for the maximum time of life, person is bedridden or not able to do his duties with full force. This is the astrological implication that is there and because this stotra is related to nine planets which are primarily used in astrology, it is a bit natural that whatever things come in this stotra is related to horoscopy astrology also. Sambhuvam Kutabhushanam We are going to the moon god who is the crest, who is there in the crown of god Shiva, who is the who is on the head of Lord Shiva. Right? So this is where moon resides and this indicates that worshipping Shiva, doing remedies related to Shiva, chanting mantra related to Shiva, doing Rudra Bhishik, come to Shiva, etc. is highly beneficial and highly useful to remedy moon along with chanting this particular 
यू कैन टेक दिस वन मंत्रा दधि शंक तुषार अवम चीरो धारण संभव नमा शिषण सोम संभोम कुट भूषण यू कैन चैंट इट वन जीरो एट टाइम्स और यू कैन चैंट द कम्प्लीट स्त्रोत्र वन जीरो एट टाइम्स आई वॉट एवर यू विश देन नेक्स्ट इट टॉक्स ऑफ मार्स धरनी गर्व संभूत विद्युत कांति सम प्रभम कुमार शक्ति हस्तम तम मंगल प्रणमा हम धरनी गर्व संभूत दो वन हू इज बॉर्न फ्रॉम द वूम ऑफ मदर गॉडस अर्थ फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन मार्स इज ऑल्सो टोल्ड नोन एज पृथ्वी पुत्र धरनी पुत्र और द वन हु इज बॉर्न फ्रॉम द अर्थ नो बिकॉज मार्स इज बॉर्न फ्रॉम द अर्थ फॉर हाउ लॉन्ग यू विल लिव ऑन दिस अर्थ सी मार्स इज कमांडर इन चीफ कमांडर इन चीफ हेल्प द किंग टू रूल हाउ मच अथॉरिटी यू हैव हाउ मच लैंड यू अक्वायर इन हाउ मच एरिया यू रूल मार्स डिसाइड सेट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन इन वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी वी टेक मार्स फॉर द सिग्निफिकेटर ऑफ लैंड if you are not able to acquire land if you are not able to acquire property if you are not able to acquire a home for yourself the worship of mars will be highly beneficial for you right if mars is afflicted in the horoscope natural calamities of occurring on earth generally disturbs the native can be the reason for wounds can be the reason for disease even can be the reason for death also when mars is afflicted generally in such cases you can say that religious is, that person will un- incur losses because of natural calamities which i have also seen working in the horoscopes very brilliant vidyut kanti samaprabham who is glorious like a thunderbolt so mars is glorious like a thunderbolt like no one can ignore thunderbolt if you have a very prominent mars in your horoscope no one can ignore you that indicates that in your family in your society in your friend circle you are the major person you are the chief person because he is connected to thunderbolt referred as vidyut kanti samaprabham anything that runs from vidyut anything that runs from electricity vidyut means electricity also is also connected to mars for this particular reason donation of any item which works with electricity is a donation for mars keeping those things which works on electricity in good shape and condition in your home is indicative of a good mars and if electrical appliances are getting faulty very often if electrical appliances are misbehaving very often then in that particular scenario it is an indication that your mars is giving bad result kumaram shakti hastam tam kumaram means the one who is unaware kumar also means kartike that means the worship of kartike or the worship of any god who is unmarried kartike parashuram hanuman is a great remedy for mars not only this because mars is called as kumara mars is the karaka for brahmacharya also mars is the karaka for celibacy also for this particular reason those who are not getting married it is recommended that you worship mars so that mars becomes beneficial for you and helps you getting married helps you end your celibacy and be into a marital life for this particular reason mars becomes very important in the matters of marriage and the condition of mars should be properly analyzed before you predict about marriage right after that it is told kumaram shakti hastam tam shakti is a type of weapon which have a long like long stick like body with a beetle leaf like shape on the top of it generally if you have seen the photo of skanda or kartike you must have seen him holding it this is known as shakti and mars is also having this in his own hand for this particular reason it is told that shakti hastam tam now for this part this shakti is a weapon donation of weapon tool donation of tool to people who need it right donation of laptop to those who will need laptop donation of screw drivers etc who will need screw who will need to do screw driving etc donation of tools to the needy is a great remedy for mars is indicated through this particular shloka by the users of this particular thing that is also a great remedy for mars mangalam pranamam eham we are our we are giving our salutations to mars god 
प्रियंगु कलिका श्यामम रूपेना प्रतिमम बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणोपेतम तम बुधम प्रणमा हम प्रियंगु कलिका श्याम दो द वन हु इज हैविंग ग्रीन कलर द वन हु इज हैविंग ग्रीन कॉम्प्लेक्शन लाइक द बर्ड ऑफ अ कदम्ब ट्री इज मर्करी सो बेसिकली मर्करी इंडिकेट्स ग्रीन कॉम्प्लेक्शन दैट इज अ डार्क कॉम्प्लेक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वियर anything for mercury green color should be the thing right if mercury is powerful you should wear green clothes use green colored pen and all of that for the donation for mercury should be green in color so green clothes green blanket green notebooks green leafy vegetables these can be donated for mercury right rupena pratimam budham rupena pratimam budham that means rupena pratimam that means mercury is very beautiful mercury indicates great beauty so if mercury is connected to lagna the person is very beautiful mercury is connected to the seventh house the spouse is very beautiful mercury is connected to fifth house the child is very beautiful basically saying that mercury makes one very very beautiful any person who looks very beautiful is also ruled by mercury right in fact users of beauty products to keep oneself beautiful is also a great natural remedy for mercury that you can do right not only this next it is called somyam somya gunopetam tam budham pranamami ham somyam som som means calm gentle so the one who is gentle somya somya gunopetam who is also having gentle qualities right somyam somya gunopetam tam budham pranamami ham our salutations to such such mercury god so because mercury is gentle if mercury is connected to lagna navamsh lagna it makes the person gentle if it is connected to seventh house the spouse is gentle on the other hand when this mercury is afflicted in that scenario the nature and quality of gentleness is completely missing right that is point number 1 secondarily one is gentleman or not this is also indicated by mercury should be seen through the analysis of mercury in the horoscope right not only this because mercury is known as somy and gentle you know <clears throat> it is i always say that mercury and moon seems to be very light planets but their analysis is very important whenever anything happens with you even if you are going with a little bit of problems little bit of suffering astrologically you want the problems to remain under control but when the mercury is very afflicted when the mercury is very bad and this mercury is afflicting a particular house afflicting a particular planet or the dasha antar dasha of this mercury is going on then all the qualities of somyata all the qualities of calmness and gentleness is gone for this particular reason great destruction this mercury creates because mercury is having the quality of gentleness when mercury becomes afflicted things become highly non gentle highly harsh highly tormenting hence the analysis of mercury is very important because if mercury is not good life is a bed of thorns where there where you cannot expect even a little bit of mercy from even gods for this particular reason mercury becomes very important next he talks about <clears throat> jupiter देवानाम च ऋषीनाम च गुरु कांजन सन्निभम बुद्धिभूत त्रिलोकेशम तम नमा बृहस्पति देवानाम च ऋषीनाम च गुरु कांचन सन्निभम द टीचर ऑफ गॉड्स एंड सेजेस द टीचर ऑफ टीचर्स इज जुबिडर हाउ गुड अ टीचर यू आर हाउ वेल यू कैन एक्सप्लेन युअर थिंग्स पीपल हू लर्न फ्रॉम यू विल दे एक्चुअली प्रॉस्पर बिकॉज द क्वालिटी ऑफ गुरु इज दैट children's learning from them will also prosper in life all these qualities are given by jupiter jupiter makes you a natural teacher when jupiter is good you should be into a field of teaching training guiding counseling and all of these things that is indicated respecting your teachers giving donation to your teachers and all of these things are also highly beneficial if you want to remedy jupiter that is first thing kanchan sannibham kanchan means gold so jupiter looks like gold gold is yellow in color yellow for complexion will be interpreted as white and for donation wearing color etc it should be taken as yellow so jupiter is pleased by yellow color buddhi bhutam 
बुद्धि भूतम मीन्स द वन हु इज हैविंग द भूता द वन हु इज हैविंग द क्वालिटी ऑफ बुद्धि सो द वन हु इज वेरी इंटेलेक्चुअल basically meaning the level of intellect the level of learning the level of understanding should be analyzed with the analysis of jupiter in the horoscope and when jupiter is not good the understanding etc the learning of the person the understanding is either flawed or whatever the person have learned whatever the person is trained in he cannot use that learning properly to earn his livelihood right this person is not interested in to gain of knowledge etc should be told trilokesham the lord of the three worlds right only jupiter is given such great statement that he is the lord of all the three worlds so the quality of teacher is that all people respect teacher right all of them rich people normal people poor people all have great regard for jupiter so how much regard people have for you should be seen should be analyzed with respect to the analysis of jupiter and because it is called as trilokesham if jupiter is good if jupiter is powerful in that particular scenario one lords over a great group many people follow him many people obey him for this particular reason jupiter also gives fame moon is also the significator for fame jupiter also gives fame because when jupiter is good people want to become like you they accept you as your leader sorry they accept you as their leader so for politics for leading over people for winning in elections for being liked by people jupiter have to be good jupiter have to be beneficial jupiter have to be strong tam namami brispatim our salutations to such great jupiter then next is venus himkund miranalabham daityanam paramam gurum sarvasat pravaktaram bhargavam pranamami ham himkund miranalabham him means snow kund means jasmine and miranalabham is stem of the lotus so one who is white like snow beautiful smelling like jasmine flower and beautiful like stem of lotus flower is venus so that means venus is white in complexion for venus white things should be donated for venus white color should be used white clothes should be worn to please jupiter to please venus along with this venus is also having a fragrant body and venus is also very beautiful like mercury is so venus also makes the person beautiful gives a beautiful spouse gives a beautiful child and all of these things daityanam paramam guru venus is the teacher of demons being the teacher of demons that basically means venus can also teach bad people jupiter see the difference between jupiter and venus what i take is venus i take it as a primary teacher which makes the person from illiterate to literate and jupiter i take as an advanced teacher who make literate people even more literate take them up to the level of phd etc right because devas and rishis are already learned but this daityas are not so this is the difference between the two which which vedavyas have very beautifully have very beautifully told here sarva shastra pravaktaram the one who is well versed in all the shastras expert in all the shastras is venus now in current life one knowing about everything cannot happen but there are some people who seem to be knowing a lot of things who seem to have very varied expertise someone who is not in a relationship expert but his advices about relationship works a lot someone who is endowed with such great skill that even though they have not experienced this particular thing but if they advise something regarding it the advice is very useful is signified by venus and when the venus is good then these qualities are present in the native and when venus is afflicted then in that particular scenario because the person is not knowing properly about basics person suffers because of that so you say if a if a businessman is having bad venus 
then despite knowing business because the person does not know how to maintain relationship with people how to talk with his clients he will be suffering problems and because of that remedies needs to be done sarvasas pravaktaram bhargavam pranamamiham we are paying our salutations to bhargav that is a name for venus also because it is told as himkund mrnalabham that means sun that means color like snow him is snow Kund is jasmine and Miralavam is lotus. Offering jasmine flower, lotus flower to gods and goddesses, specifically offering lotus flower to goddess. It's offering uh, jasmine flower to goddess because Venus is taken as a female planet is a great remedy for Venus. Not only this, all the flowers are indicated by Venus. Having flowers in your home, visiting nursery occasionally, Nurturing, taking care of flower plants, having flowers placed in your home is a great remedy for Venus, is a great tool to activate Venus, get the blessings of Venus, enjoy Venus in your life. For this particular reason, I will recommend that those who are looking to get married should strongly use flowers. They can use gajra. They can use flower or flower based scents. They can apply every day, which will be a great remedy for Venus, which will help them in getting married. Next comes Saturn, Nilanjanam, Samabhasam, Ravi Putram, Yamagrajam, Chaya, Mar, Pandusam, Bhutam, Tamanamami, Shanishanam. Nilanjanam, Samabhasam. Neel, black, Anjan, Kayal, Kajal, Samabhasam. The one who is black like charcoal or Kajal is Saturn. So for that particular reason in complexion, Saturn gives black complexion. If you want to wear clothes for Saturn, don't need clothes for Saturn or don't need anything for Saturn that should be black in color. Wearing black colors, uses of black things, using black pen will be a remedy for Saturn. Ravi Putram, Saturn is the son of sun god. Right? See, yeah, son of sun god. Is told by Ravi Putram, Yamagrajam. Agraj means younger brother. Right. So, Saturn is the younger brother of Yama also. Yama is the god of death. Being the younger brother of god of death, because Yama does not feature in the planetary list, it is Saturn which talks of Yama, which talks of death. And it is the strength of Saturn, it is the condition of Saturn which talks about how much longevity is there. If Saturn is afflicting a particular house, if Saturn is giving problem to one particular house, then the problem is generally related to the relative of that house dying very early or things related to that house not sustaining or dying very quickly. Chaya Martand Sambhuta. It is specifically told that Saturn was born out of a relationship between Chaya, not the original wife of Sun, but the shadow of the original wife of Sun that was Sangya. So Saturn was born of Chaya and Martan. Martan is a name for Sun only. So Saturn was born for Ch born out of Chaya mother and son. Right? Sambhutam tam namami sanestiram. Our salutations to such Saturn God. And because Saturn is born out of Chaya, shadow is also greatly connected to Saturn. For this particular reason, if one want to do a remedy for Saturn, the best time to do the remedy is the time when you can see your shadow very clearly that is after 2 to 30 in the afternoon evening from 2 to 30 in the afternoon up to sunset that is the first thing secondarily if one is afflicted by black magic ghosts goblins and all these things it is taken it is told as that uh, the chaya of some negative energies on the native and because saturn is the son of the chaya a Chaya goddess. In fact, goddess word should be used because she is the wife of sun. So because Saturn is born of Chaya goddess, being afflicted by black magic, being afflicted by ghosts, goblins, having hallucinations, etc. is seen from Saturn and should be seen with respect to Saturn. In those horoscopes when Saturn is very afflicted, having mental maladies and having imagination that you are being haunted by ghosts, goblins, etc. is very common. Next comes Rahu, Ardhakayam, Mahaviryam, Chandra, Aditya, Vimardhanam. Ardhakayam, the one who is having half body. Mahaviryam, but who is very powerful. Chandra, Aditya, Vimardhanam, one who obstructs, one who eclipses sun and moon. 
Singhika Garva Sambhutam, born out of the womb of Simhika. That is the name of a demoness who looks like lion. Tam Rahum Pranamamyaham, our salutations to such Rahu God. Ardhakayam, because it is told he is having half body, we all know that Rahu is the head and Ketu is the remaining body. Mahaviryam, but Rahu is very powerful. For this particular reason, I always say that if in any combination Rahu is connected, then in that particular scenario, the result of this combination will be given by Rahu only. Rahu becomes very powerful. Because Rahu is very powerful, whichever house Rahu is situated in, Rahu is situated in, in your life, you are generally troubled by or happy with respect to that house only. Because Rahu is very powerful, that house also becomes very powerful in your life. In other words, that house becomes very significant in your life. Hence, while analyzing a horoscope, the significant house have to be very minutely seen. Because if you don't see the most significant house, you cannot actually predict in which direction the life of the native will go. Why you say that someone is a politician, someone is an actor, someone is a magician? For magician, music is the most prominent thing in their life. They are playing music. They are earning livelihood for it. People are knowing them for music. That means music is very prominent for them. So for this particular reason, the house of Rahu generally decides the profession of the native also or decides that major area of life in the that major area of life for which the native is known for. For this particular reason, the analysis of Rahu becomes very important. Chandra Aditya Vimardhanam, Rahu eclipses sun and moon, both that is an astronomical phenomena. The most important point is <clears throat> Rahu, because sun and moon gives light to the world and Rahu can obstruct them, can throw the world into darkness. It indicates that generally when Rahu is negative, when Rahu is afflicted, person is living in darkness, person is misguided. Person is not going in the right path and because of this particular reason, there will be problem in his own development, problem in his own life and added to that, he can be a nuisance for the society also. Right. And not only this, you know, metaphorical rising, great rise of the person, such great that even the, you know, even the good people are obstructed into it. Like some con man getting such great hype that he looks the greatest of all is also the attribute of Rahu. And generally, when Rahu is very prominent in horoscope, it does indicate that person is misguided. And because of this being misguided, he goes into, you say, bad. He, he goes into bad things and get a good prominence also. And Today or tomorrow, world comes to knows about the, you know, the cheating that the native have done. And then the native faces a lot of humiliation also. This is a trait of great Rahu, right? Because the person himself is misguided. It is not his mistake, but this is the Maya of Rahu. For this particular reason, Rahu is known as Mayavi. Rahu is known as producing illusion. This is Clearly told by Veda Vyas here. Simbika Garbha Sambhutam, that is all there. The one particular thing is there. Simbika Garbha Sambhutam, Rahu is born out of the womb of a demoness named Simbika. Simbika means the one who looks like lion and it is Mercury also who writes lion. So Mercury and Rahu have a very close connection for this particular reason. The signs which are considered good for Mercury are also considered good for Rahu. And the same way like Mercury works, like Mercury is very beautiful, Rahu also gives great beauty. Because Mercury is very calm, Rahu is just opposite to his. Rahu is not calm at all. Rahu is very aggressive. Rahu is, Rahu is very, you know, problem creating. Rahu is completely non-aggressive. Rahu is completely non-gentleman. So Rahu means a very erratic, a very short-tempered, a very aggressive, a very impatient personality is what should be told or gives great aggression, great impatience with respect to that house where Rahu is situated in, provided the fact Rahu is negative. If Rahu is positive, then he will produce the positive results of Mercury, such as patience, calmness, dedication, devotion, and all of that. Lastly, he talks of Ketu. And he says, 
पलाश पुष्प समकाशम तारकाग्रह मस्तकम रौद्रम रौद्रात्मकम घोरम तम केतुम प्रणमाम्य हम पलाश पुष्प समकाशम साइनिंग लाइक द कलर ऑफ पलाश फ्लावर्स राइट पलाश इज अ वाइल्ड फ्लावर बेसिकली दैट मींस ऑफरिंग वाइल्ड फ्लावर्स टू गॉड इज अ रेमेडी फॉर और ऑफरिंग वाइल्ड फ्लावर्स टू एनी keeping wild flowers in your home decorating yourself with wild flowers using a perfume which have the essence of wild flower will be a remedy for ketu not only this wild people people who are living at the periphery of society people who don't interact with others much people who are introverts people who are loner are also indicated by ketu and when ketu is connected to when ketu decides the personality when ketu is connected to ascendant navamsha ascendant or becomes the most powerful planet in the horoscope this is the nature of the native when ketu is connected to the seventh house this is the nature of the spouse and etc tarakagrah mastakam tarakagrah who is the head of all the planets is ketu see ketu is the southern node now south direction is the 10th house of the horoscope so basically talking of sky ketu is the planet which is the southernmost in the sky because he is in the southernmost place this is the place where the orbit of moon crosses the orbit of sun right it is the southernmost point and because of being the southernmost point and because the southernmost point is indicated by 10th house it is told that it is the head of all the grahas and it is the head of all the taras and all the planets and it is the head of all astrological and astronomical bodies ketu is not only one there are many ketus in astrology but talking of planet there is only this one planet right now because ketu is known as head one should understand that if ketu is afflicted all other planets in the horoscope will also be little bit little bit afflicted as well right so if one wants to do remedy for any planet one should do first remedy of ketu because once the head is pleased it is easy to please other planets rodram rodratmakam ghoram rodram means furious rodratmakam means one who is internally fury fu uh, you know furious also so rodram rodratmakam ghoram that means ketu is very furious completely furious that basically means ketu is the most aggressive of the planets and in 90% of the horoscopes ketu is bad ketu generally gives bad result hence if one wants to do remedy for any planet the remedy of ketu should be done first the remedy of ketu is most important and the ketu being in good condition is very rare and as i have told you 90% of the people will be suffering from problems related to ketu so you can easily see the house you can just take it make it a very quick technique and easily check the house where ketu is situated in and can quickly predict problems related to that house be it in the natal chart prashna chart or transit chart whatever and that will tell you because ketu is very furious he will create disturbance to the house where he is so whichever house ketu is transiting in in your horoscope you should be careful related to that house in the dasha antar dasha of ketu you should be very careful and there should there will be problems related to the house where ketu is situated in so the remedy of that house should also be done because ketu is also told as ghoram that means ketu is terrifying so not only furious he is terrifying also for this particular reason ketu is very malefic and for this particular reason whichever house ketu is situated in whichever house ketu is transiting in for the matters related to that house one should be very careful and for those particular houses one should always be performing remedies right tam ketum pranamamya ham our salutations to such ketu is what is told so this is the navagraha stotra masterpiece by vedavyas which can see which have great great secrets of all the nine planets that you can chant every day for the benefits that i have told you before or you can also take 
a mantra related to one particular planet and you can chant it to come out of problems, afflictions and issues related to that particular planet also. Now, putting it all into ones, this Tutra is Japa Kusum Samkasam Kashipeyam Mahadutim Tamo Arimsar Papaganam Prato Asmi Divakaram Dadishank Tusarabham Shiro Dharanava Sambhavam Namami Shashinam Somam Sambho Mukutabhushanam Dharani Garbha Sambhutam Vidyut Kanti Samaprabham Kumaram Shakti Hastam Tam Mangalam Pranamamyaham Priyangu Kalika Shamam Rubena Pradimam Budham Somyam Somy Gunopetam Tam Budham Pranamamyaham Devanam Cha Rishi Nam Cha Gurum Kanchan Sandibham Buddhivutam Trilokesham Tam Namami Brihaspatim Hemukund Mirnala Bham Dityanam Paramam Gurum Sarva Sastravaktaram Bhargavam Pranamamiham Nilanjana Samabhasam Ravi Putram Yamagrajam Chaya Martand Sam Bhutam Tam Namami Shanesharam Ardakayam Mahaviryam Chandra Dittivimardanam Simmika Garbasam Bhutam Tam Rahum Pranamamiham Palas Pushp Sangasam Tarka Grahamastakam Rodram Rodratmakam Ghoram Tam Ketum Pranamamiham Iti Vyasa Mukhod Gitam Yaha Pateta Susamahitaha Vivava Yadivara Tro Vigna Santir Bhavishati Narnari Nirpanamcha Bhavid Dusupna Nasanam Asurim Atulam Tesham Arugyam Pushti Vardhanam This is the complete stotra in once if you cannot read it you can play it every day and all the bad results of planets will be specified for you.